That's right. Bye. That's right. Yeah, that's that's uh, correct. That could, you want me to step out? If you just open your door a little bit. Okay. Here you go. What's going on? Yeah, I just you see the the message I have. This car is uh, just limping, and it's the weekend, and the mechanics are busy, yeah. so I'm waiting it out. Well, we just got a call because Tractor Supply was. Pulling okay. up, and they saw you sitting down here. So yeah, it's uh, they they seen me a couple of days. I just got here in town a couple of days ago, so I'm uh, just waiting for the um, the uh, <clears throat> mechanics to open up. They close in the weekend, so I'm at a loss for activity. I mean, I, I talked to the spare parts guys. They open on the weekend, but uh, the um, mechanics, you know what I'm talking about? That they're all closed, yeah. Yeah, and I have this issue with this uh, this car right now with the driving. The, the shifting is, is rough, and um, it, it's kind of weak going up hills. I mean, it moves, but I'm trying to just hold off on... Um, getting around until uh, the mechanics are are open. There's two mechanics uh, not far from here. I just uh, just wait till they're open. I guess uh, Torx and Glenn. They familiar? You guys patrol. Glenn's. You guys patrol around here. Yeah, I figure this this uh, seems like a reasonable. Oh, I hope this is a reasonable spot to wait. And, um, because I have, yep, yeah, a dead end road. No, but this is the actual road. Yeah, it's it's kind of a dead end, isn't it? I'm saying no. Next to that road back there. I see that there's uh there's a sewage treatment or whatever. Yeah, I, down that way. They got it blocked off with the gates, so uh, I was just uh yeah, just waiting out the, the time that the the mechanics open up. Um, you say the car will move. Oh, it moves, yeah. It's just it limps. I don't know if you ever experienced the problem with uh, the clutch, or just yeah, it gives problems. Well, what was the exact complaint? They just said I was here, right? That is, they didn't have suspicious vehicle. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Right. Yeah. Thing, you are in a road, so if you would, could you get somewhere to a parking lot here, pretty close? A parking lot. I mean, a Walmart right there. Yeah, I was over there, but uh, nobody drives this. Am I in your way? What I'm saying is this is an actual roadway. You can't be on a roadway. Okay. Yeah, nobody's nobody's been driving this and it's new. It's you don't even I, I was told you don't even see it on Google Maps or something. Yeah, it's fairly new. And well there's a parking lot just I can just pull into this this lot of dirt. Nobody's using it. Is that what you're saying? Just pull get in the parking lot somewhere and all right they're okay with it fine but right now you're on a road with this is ventura road all right well i could pull this into this just the end of the ventura road but it's still a road all the way down all right well all the way if you think i'm blocking traffic in some way i mean i i'll tell you i i, I monitored it and there's only there's only like one truck that passed by me yesterday so i mean this this isn't this isn't used because it's it's a de it's it's you're, you're, you you want to make it sound like it's it's a heavy a heavy use road and it's not it's it's regardless it's, if it's used or not it's still a public road now I'm asking you if you can why don't you just move to a parking lot yeah okay it's you're asking okay I mean yeah I mean I can I can move over I guess but uh, I'm trying not to drive it's thing until uh, Monday you know you guys have a bit of a slow town for activity with uh, the mechanic activity. Yeah, I mean, yeah you're so, gonna probably get in touch with a mechanic on the weekend. What's that? You can better get in touch with a mechanic to fix anything on the weekend now. Yeah, and I tried. I got a bicycle and I bicycled out there. I bicycled the Glens, I bicycled the Torx to find out uh, you know what if I could find out in, in advance before Monday what we could what we could uh, schedule what's what does their schedule look like and um, I left a note at Torx just to, just to see 
what uh, you know if they get back with me because um, I want to get I want to uh, arrange the parts because there's several parts that uh, O'Reilly's can uh, get for me in advance I compared the price differences between advanced auto parts and O'Reilly's and O'Reilly's is a little bit cheaper because uh, they they have to order the parts from another area so I think they they're cheaper because it takes a day you have to wait a day to receive those parts so I actually ordered them yesterday I told them just yeah they, they said they would order without me having to pay I they just have it and then I would just sit on these parts they said they'd get them today at 1 and then uh, on Monday I, I want to bicycle out to, uh, to Torx, possibly Glen again, and just find out what who's who's got the better schedule. Uh, I don't want to just be going out there and then sitting and waiting and, and waiting till Monday because um, shopping at Walmart is is pretty convenient. Um, hanging out just in this in this region for food, for sustenance. Just waiting it out I can't do that so much at the hanging out at the mechanic shop so I stay in this I'm staying in this area um, until then but uh, yeah this I I, uh, I did something to this car this uh, um, I think I think maybe um, cruise control I, I I turn because I mean that that was that was probably it I turned cruise control on when I was out of gear and it, and the RPM shot up pretty high, and then it got weird. But that, that was that was like 20 miles away. I was I was able to drive 20 miles after that incident, where the uh, the shifter got a little tight, and and then I noticed this getting difficult to go up hills. But I was able to drive 20 miles to get to to here. I was 20 miles outside of town, and, uh, and then I just uh, yeah I drove drove here. Actually, I stopped at O'Reilly's first, and and talked to them about parts, and they they gave some suggestions about auto mechanics, and then and then uh, I had to figure out uh, what what I needed and all that, and then so I been taking advantage of a little bit of the Wi-Fi as well, and um, watched a little Chris Fix. I don't know if you ever heard of his channel for uh, repair, and I know that. The, the parts guy is he says he's a he's very sure that it's the issue with uh, the clutch I don't I don't need to go on uh, you know because from what I understand um, a clutch can damage the transmission it's it's clutches go out before transmission a bad clutch can lead to bad transmission so I, I don't want to strain the clutch then that would lead to transmission and apparently when I bicycled out uh, the glens uh, some there's a lady there yeah uh, yesterday she said he don't do transmission he so and that is a complicated uh, thing to do so I uh, don't he'll only replace the clutch which I know that's that's the problem <laughs> and apparently the hardest part about fixing a clutch is, is aligning it with the transmission <laughs> you know the transmission's tough working on that by itself uh, but doing a clutch replacing a clutch is pretty uh, pretty standard but I mean it's it's something that I I can't do on the side of the road I, I don't have tools to do it I have to go to somebody I'd, I'd really it'd be nice to find one of those uh, mobile mechanics a uh, roadside mechanic type of person and I've been going on the Wi-Fi I've, I've been going on uh, Facebook they got Facebook groups for this town buy sell trade or whatever else is uh, whatever else they got I've been trying to message them you saw I put a little chalk message there that was like right away I, I got this chalk and I put a little message in front of the car just just in case if somebody came by <laughs> but nobody Nobody comes by. Um, I'm, not, I'm not saying I, there's a lot of traffic through it, here, but this is a public roadway. Okay, yeah. It can be towed by, you say you can drive it. Just pull right over no, here. No, I, I was. Parking lot, and I, yeah, I. Explain to us. I will explain to them 
why you're there. No, no, I don't, they'll still have the option to kick me out. I was over there. That's the thing. That's what I, I'm saying. Uh, if I, they say something, then we I don't, explain your situation. I don't, I don't think anyone's going to say anything on this dirt lot. I'd have to look at access into it, but it's just they have it ready to go for another building. Because how long have you been working here for? Uh, about 15 years. Okay, you've seen that this just came up. Tractor is like new. Yes, it, that building was built probably uh, six months ago. Six months ago, and now they're calling cops on me. You know, the six. If I was here six months ago, they wouldn't be calling the cops on me. That's crazy. You know. But it's also I, been a lot of breaking into this building too. In six months. Yeah. So this is something I would do an FOIA request on a public records request to confirm, Officer, uh, what's your name? Pitts. Pitts. Can you go get a report? Of, yeah. They're going to break in at this Officer, right here, this address right here. Officer Pitts has told, address. okay, yeah, I could I could confirm that by doing a records request through the, are you sheriff or police? For police. Police, okay, through the police department, mm -hmm. you've gotten a call from Tractor Supply. I go down to your, and this, this would help, Pat, well, you guys probably aren't. The call from Tractor Supply was she wanted to escort in the building because there was a car out here and she didn't feel safe going in the building oh okay let me check out the car you are parked on a public roadway i'm asking you to move it yep. off of a public roadway to yep. a parking lot yeah, where it is safer all right yeah i can move it off to the side all right you need me to do that right now i mean yes. all right all right yeah i just you guys you're saying that I'm I'm illegal. You're saying I'm illegally parked, right? I'm saying that you are parked in a road. Am I am I illegally parked? You're parked in a road. You're yeah. yeah. In a road. So you're, you're are you saying I'm illegally parked? Yes, yes or no? Okay. All right. Because I mean I didn't see any signs. I mean. Right down here at the end it says Ventura Road. That is a. Oh no no. Road. Do you know right, that? This is a T road. You know there's some roads that say like there's two hour parking. There's. That's when they have parking spots on the side. Okay, all right. And then you know, there's a width issue. Are you saying there's a width issue with uh, the the road? Is it like I'm parked too far to the center, into the center of the road. Oh, what we're saying is you are parked on a roadway. Yeah, there, there's there's roads that you are allowed to Regardless park on. Regardless of how much traffic is coming in and out of this roadway, yeah, it's, you are parking it. It's right. it's a width issue. It's it, there's wider roads out there that you can park. You can just pull along the side of the road on. You can park on any public property unless that person says you cannot be a, the actual, like, say, track supply or whatever the case may be. Unless they say they don't want you on your property, you can park in, in any type of parking lot. Yeah, but, I mean, there's there's some roads you could park on the side of, right? I mean, are you familiar? Not they have parking spots. No, there's some that don't even show. You, you're talking about lines, right? Visible lines. No, I'm just talking about this is a actual public road right here. Yeah, and, and I mean, I think it's, it's I think it's you're making it sound like it's a width issue, like it's I'm too far to the. I didn't uh, say nothing about width. You keep mentioning width. Well, yeah, because I'm it's a public road. You can't park your vehicle on a public road. Um. All right. Well, I I have parked on many um, public roads in the past, and it's never been illegal. I wasn't there for that. I'm currently seen parked in there. All right. You said you can move the vehicle. I'm asking you to move it to the right. parking lot somewhere. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll just take a look at that one behind me. All right. <clears throat> Oop. Got this. Okay. Yeah, I've I've been on many many roads, it, and it seems like I mean when roads are too uh, narrow, I. Uh, Oh, here we go. Just grabbing this. When the nose, roads are really narrow, I can understand. You know, there's people have to slow down when when there's two cars coming, and it's really narrow. Then you know that's going to cause a slowdown and then like be like a bottleneck for the traffic. All right. Um, yeah, I've, I've seen stuff like that. Ever. <laughs> They didn't even know about this road. Some kids are just walking down. Well, this, this wasn't actually renamed as a public road until they built the fences out here. Oh. Out there, but now this became a public road when it goes this Oh, yeah, okay. And it's just a fence on the other side of the road. All right.
Yeah, I'll just... I'm just gonna look, there's a little pull in, I guess, I mean... Alright. Yeah, I just... Okay, so how far, how far over would make you happy? Because it looks like I could just kind of tuck in to that little driveway. I could tuck in. Off the asphalt is all I'm asking. You want me, oh, you want me completely off the asphalt. Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, that's what I'm asking you to do. Okay. But well, here's the thing right, right here. If you park back here, people are going to be calling because you look suspicious back here. Uh, I don't know. That's I don't think so. That's why I'm saying if you move to a I don't think anybody's going to call. They called on you already. I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. Well, they called on you, and you've checked on me, and now you can reassure them that I'm I'm safe. And... I'm not gonna be working the whole time. Is what I'm saying. I'll well, pass it on the day shift. That's all I can okay. do. Okay. Yeah. Just uh, let you know. Okay. If you don't want to contact the caller, you're saying you you're not gonna you don't intend. I already intent... contacted the caller. I went there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. There's a before the incident and after the incident. So the call you've had a contact with the caller before the incident, and now. It, well, it's it's an optional with you guys, I guess. You can con you can have make make contact after the incident too, and let them know. But I mean, it's it's your discretion. So, but uh, yeah, I'll I'll get completely off the asphalt, and it's just a matter of rolling down. I see. I wanted I to mean, be. I don't care if you park there or not. Yeah. It's the only person that can tell you you gotta leave is whoever owns the yep. property. Yeah. Yeah. And and uh, it's uh. I, I was up closer to the building because of this decline. I didn't like that because I, you know, the. If you the, don't want to go discs. down the decline, then you can go to one of these other areas. No, no, I will. I'll be off the decline a little bit by, I back in. I'll, I'll uh, roll. The reason why I would then, suggest a Walmart is because it's less likely for somebody to call and bother you about being. A Walmart. Okay, it's about you guys getting bothered. You don't like being called to come out to these things. That's it's, not what I'm saying. Okay. I said bother you. Oh, it's, I'm not, no, it's, I, I'm, If we get I'm, called to you, then I'm, it's bothering you. I mean, that's what I said. You're saying it's bothering me? Okay. I thought, I thought you guys don't like the calls. You, you're like, what, you know, why are we coming out for, to just, you know, talk to this guy? You, you know, my situation, I, I don't intend to, you know, make this, this a long-term, uh. I understand. Uh, that's why I just asked you, if you get out the right way, we'd be good to go. And you want to watch me. I, as I roll back, that way I just know you got the roadway. We can call, call I'll, it in. You I'll demo the roadway and be done. Yeah, I'll, I'll push in the clutch and let it start rolling and um, just back so in it. You're saying it's not, you, it's not able to crank it? It cranks. It works. It, it's just really, it's a limp. Are you familiar with? See, it's it's a clutch. There's it's a stick shift, and there's these discs that ro that rotate, and they're worn right now but when you shift shift gear the the plates get pushed together this is what i'm assuming at least when they, they get pushed together to to get the motor running you get first gear it, it disengage the plates and then you get into the second gear disengage the plates and put the pl and the plates come back together or something like that and there's just it's i got 128,000 miles on it and, and i mean i looked at used cars there's that dealership across the streets you know those new cars are out of my price range and the used cars a lot of them have more miles than mine so it, it doesn't seem worth it for me to just try to get a new car uh off the lot and, and uh, just what i'd rather I'd, i'm okay with waiting to uh to, to see what the mechanics have to say and i only know of two i have two choices um, I mean, there's the, a couple of them that I don't know by name. Okay, maybe, yes. Uh, you can look it up. There, there's probably yeah. somebody Google it or whatever, and they'll probably give you different I've, mechanics and stuff. I've been doing quite a bit of research, uh, yeah, trying to, to, to see, because, I mean. I know there's, for, which for, one did, what's the two that you named? Glenn's and um, Torx. Where's uh, Torx located? Tor in? Torx is like in two spots, and it's strange. Uh, it's off the main highway, I guess, up north. Yeah, you take County. a west of here. I know there's an but... auto shop, John's, right down here. Well, right down the road when you get past McDonald's. I down saw here, that, yeah. There's a John's I... there. There's another one down on Main Street down there at the very end okay. of Main Street. Okay. There's another mechanic shop there. Yeah, the recommended guys were these two. I check on them because they yeah. work on vehicles at night. They were I see them tonight. Does. I see them tonight working on a vehicle over there. 
They were working on it on the weekends. Yeah, I've seen them over right. there underneath the one that he had. I didn't, I didn't look into them. Yeah. I'll be I'm honest. I, you might have been looking with him tomorrow, and they I've might been, have to get you on the road tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay. Or, I mean, I doubt I, 4 o'clock in the morning. I can. Yeah, I've been, I've been bicycling from this spot to to re research things the back and forth with O'Reilly's and yeah I just I didn't check those guys out because yeah they were Glenn's and uh, yeah, Torx down, uh, pig farm. Out, and, and they're way out for a bicycle ride so oh, yeah. it, it took a little bit of energy from me and I so that's to, to yeah I, I didn't make a full yeah, the, you say you've seen where John's at the, if you just continue on down that road right there, yeah, it'll take you to the a uh, four-way, which is Main Street. Yeah. Make a right, go down the end of Main Street down there, and to your left, that shop. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Torx, Torx is in like two two places, apparently. He's got signs in two places. It might be out of I'm your... I'm not real familiar with them. Yeah, so okay. I mean, it might be out of your jurisdiction. That's Yeah, but the way you were okay. talking, it seemed like it's it, out of... Yeah, he's, he's out well, technically there. Technically, Glenn's is too, but that's just... I just know where Glenn's at, because mm. that's where sometimes we take our vehicles when they need to Okay, work on okay. Oh, you do? Okay, so that's, you guys are getting, and your running sounds, they sound good, so maybe that's that's a recommendation in a way. I mean, I, I've, I've known Glenn for a while, I, he does good work. The problem with Glenn is, he's booked a good bit. It's hard he, sometimes he's, to get. He could be a long wait. Yeah, he's he, he um. booked, uh, I, I know we've had to wait a week for him to get on our vehicles in before. Okay, yeah, that's what I was dreading. I was, I mean, I, I don't know what to think of that. Okay. Well, I just, uh, I don't want to be... Oh, there's a southern muffler on Main Street, too. Muffler, okay. Southern muffler is what it's called. Yeah. It's right, uh, do you know where the police department is over there? No, I, I don't know where it's at. I, I didn't really well, look. You know where, did you go all the way down to Main Street? Yeah, I was looking for the library. I bicycled down there. Do you know where the library is at? I now know it, but I missed it because I, I couldn't. My map wasn't rendering on my. We're down that my, same road right there where. Uh, you're not far. Or that's we, not so far. So you know where Main Street is. Uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, nice. Like a lot of people park on the side of the road there. It's right across the road that's, from that in Southern Muffet. Right okay. There. Yeah, it's, a, it's just another mechanic. So, you know, this is kind of a small town, but you do have those options. There's a lot of mechanics, but the problem they, is, they, like you said, I mean, it's a Saturday and a Sunday, they, yep, they, and a lot of people are closed on the weekend. They take the, they take the weekends off. Not the auto parts store. I could get the parts. I could have, you know, too bad it's just not a matter of just simply buying the parts. I like and then, I, I yeah, it's, it's the, the actual service that needs to be done. This this is a trans transmission that needs to be dropped. And that's that's a big job. It just a, I don't need the transmission worked on, but it's it's in the transmission. Just a simple replace the clutch, slave cylinder, a couple other cylinders. But, I mean, I've heard of a clutch, but, but I couldn't tell you how it works. I ain't my yeah, mechanic. So. Yeah, it's those rotating discs inside the in, inside the uh, um, yeah the the clutch is in in the I don't know why I just forgot the name of the. You know the transmission, so yeah. But that's I know that's the problem. Um, if you by any chance so, not want to sleep in your car or the hotel. I know like I that. saw that. Uh, I saw the rate the the uh, the ratings about it too. It's uh, they're talking about somebody had to leave at 3 a.m. because they're getting bit by bugs. I don't get bit uh, but I don't get bit by bugs in my car, so I just. Well, man. I, I don't like I, to say, I don't know about that. There's another one down yeah. on Main Street. There's oh, the another uh, one. $120 one at the high class. Yeah, the Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn, yeah, 120 a night. Yeah, I, I saw that. Uh, this one and I, that one over there. I think that one's like, what, 40 people down on the night? Oh, my God. Yeah, the, the last time we put the, the windows, that was like 75. Oh, was yeah, the, the, the cheap, the, the weather's nice, too. I mean, there's, there's uh, I mean, you can just lay on the ground and, and be fine for the nights. I was or, just saying, since you so. got to wait it over a whole another day before you can get to it, you might yeah, have to it's, sleep it's, in a car. No, it's, it's, it's fine. I've actually been traveling for the past 11 years. So this, and this is a so new... You sleep in your car quite a bit. Uh, yep, yeah, 11 years of, of uh, this type of activity. So but you it, have a current YouTube it, channel? Oh, uh, yeah, that's a YouTube channel, yeah. I, I record the drives. Uh, the camera's up on the front, and I just look whatever I see ahead of me. But that's... Uh, so, daily not, roamer not, not YouTube? So much, not so much a roamer now, and, I, I, you know, it depends on how, how the... I check it out. How they well, Past videos are, yeah, available, but uh, future videos are unknown now, unpredictable. I don't know what to expect. I'm just... Uh, 
trying to get this this uh, in order. There, yeah, I have a few subscribers, and I I talk to them. I tell them about this. I tried to help spread the word. I tried to say, you know, hey, I got a problem here. Can you help me out? Uh, is there anything that any, anybody in the local region? And I, I know a guy in Hattiesburg, um, but that's a bit far. Yeah, I, I, Hattiesburg probably I, about an hour from here. Yeah, that, that's I think I mean I drove 20 miles after this incident happened. Because it's far north of here, come in. This is a smaller town. It's uh, approximately five, six thousand people so, in that field. Yeah, so you you know that this this runs. I, I I was able to drive 20 miles while it was making the pops and the, the grinding and losing power on on hills. Even a hill like this, That's I think. That's a steep hill. You'd be coming that way. The bottom part of this hill can give a challenge. A challenge. Yeah. Even I think one of these. slipping, slipping, and losing it's power. Wet. It's even hard for us to get up sometimes. Oh yeah, and it's supposed to rain today, I believe. So, and actually, this oh man, you guys, okay, yeah, this is this. I, I'm barely getting Wi-Fi from Walmart here. I think down there, I'll probably completely lose it. But I mean, we'll get off the, get off the did, road Walmart for a couple. Walmart didn't run you off, right? What? Walmart didn't run you off, did they? No, but I mean, the the vehicles around me. The activity that happens there it's it's less peaceful than yeah. in this this new spot i've parked on dead end roads before in my 11 years i i, I know i when there's barely any traffic i'm at i'm at ease but i mean that the, it's not some random stranger who called it's somebody who's a manager at this the store yeah. concerned it about it wasn't necessarily that they were saying anything negative towards you it was all right just the aspect uh, there is a car out here, and you got to understand, yep. they go on to work five o'clock in the morning. They're not used to a car being sitting here. Yeah, it's it's uh well yeah, especially when it's illegal. I mean, maybe you know this is such a new road. Maybe in the future, because you might want to consider no parking signs, because there's some types of roads that'll that are this narrow that'll have no parking. The only ones that I know if you park all the side of the road is on Main Street. There's some of them on Main Street. There's okay. Spots on you got you got permission to park two hours. There's a vet. I saw that there's a veterans parking space on yeah. that on that part for. But you get two hours, as, you know. But it's still a priority for them. Um, yeah. There's. But at least it is free. At least you don't have to pay for it like so many bigger per, cities. Yeah, and this is a, this is a popular Main Street. I'm pretty impressed. Oh act, yeah, oh yeah. During the, act, the week, uh, you probably have the, ten thousand folks running through here. That okay. I would. This makes. You gotta this, realize there's only. 6,000 people inside the city limits. Yeah. But the actual county is it, almost 40,000. Yeah. But And this is the closest hmm. uh, town, you know, for George County. Okay, it is remote. This is a remote yeah. city. And the Walmart tends to be a mecca for shoppers. Mm -hmm. even, a lot of times, even like people from Greene County and okay. some of them, like up, up top of the Jackson County before you get down to Pasigula. That's yeah. Walmart stuff down in Pasigula. I, you know, I came from Pasigula area. I, I mean, I was there for a few days. That's about 45 minutes down yeah. the road that way. Yeah, I drove because I'm heading north again. The spring is coming. I see new green grass. I'm heading north, but I mean, I'm stopped. So you come down south when it's cold? Yeah, I, mainly the winter storm drove me down all the way. I'm like, okay, I'll check out the Gulf. I was going to stick more mid mid country. Cause I've been up and down. I've been in the whole west half of the country now, up and down with the weather. Okay. It's not as desperate on the California, on the Pacific coast, and on uh, those states, uh, because the weather's stable. Pacific, no, you, the Pacific Ocean stabilizes the weather. Tend to, you know. One of the problems down here is humidity. Like you, you feel yeah, it in the air this morning. Right now, it's yeah, it's it's up there. This it's not like the the desert. Think about it, this is like seventy. Think about this when it's a hundred and it's this humidity. Yeah. It, that's what makes it rough around and, here. Yep, and, and one of the mechanics or one of the uh, carport car parts guys, I told him I was I'll be staying at the Walmart and he's like, Yeah, on the asphalt it can get hot. It may be yeah. seventy, but it'll feel more like ninety on the asphalt. So that's yeah, they do tend to not not necessarily right now because it's only only sixty something yesterday yeah. and probably six yeah like maybe seven, early 70s today yeah yeah it's just because that storm's coming in there's a there is yeah that's not i'm not looking forward to that but uh yeah know. there is probably i don't know what's about noon i think it's supposed to rain noon about six or something okay but yeah i was i was just parked on the the side there but uh i i walked over here just easy walk across this field and it, it's not far. And I travel, you know, I bicycle three miles to the mechanic guys. I, I got, 
an extended range. So, I mean, yeah, that's, I just, I parked a little too close to the tractor supply. That was, what if I faced the other way? I wonder if they would have called me then. That, cause it may be. They probably still would have called maybe, me the car on the roadway. Maybe they'd think, well, not, they would, I, okay, car on the road. Maybe I could have died in my car. That, you know, there's that. They, they, I mean, I, your car parked here, either they, way it would have been, somebody would have called eventually on it. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually surprised that it happened with the manager at this time. I, there's so much traffic in and out. Oh yes, yeah, in daytime you have a lot of traffic and, up and, that way. And there were no no calls. Nobody nobody came down. No. When did you come over here yesterday? This, yeah, this this was uh, the other. This is um, on Friday night. So. You've been sitting here since Friday. Night? Well, I I try to move. I mean, I can move. I was gonna but, say because I don't remember you being here Friday night. Yeah, I was here Friday night. Kind of late. It's seven or so. Oh, seven in the morning. Oh wait, wait. I'm sorry. No, I. I moved in the morning, Saturday morning. I was, okay. I actually spent the I was night. Say, we worked last night. I was like, I don't you, remember this car. You didn't see, night. okay. I was, yeah, I was at Walmart. And then I moved in the morning to over here because it's more peaceful. And uh, yeah, so. We worked 6 to 6, so if you move over here to them, that's why I wasn't there last night. Okay, okay. So yeah, I, I didn't, yeah. So I, yeah. And a, I came down this way, but I only came to track, the front part of Tracks 5. I didn't come oh, to the back side or okay. anything over here. You would, yeah, as a part of your patrol, yeah, you would have, you would have seen, seen me. So okay, yeah, I mean, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll be off, I'll be off the road here. Just I'll let the, the car roll. I mean, I don't, I don't see a reason to even turn it on with the, the I mean, incline. It's totally up to you. I, we'll make sure you get in there so that way you don't. Yeah, maybe. Don't get up down the woods down there. I, I would say maybe I would push it. For okay, yeah, uh, for homeless activity, I I can't. Pascagoula on the on the the coast. That's that's some prime homeless activity, but as uh, up here, this you guys seem more affluent. You, this seems like a nicer community. Overall, I, I, it is a, it is a have, good place to live. I mean, we have our crime just like everywhere else, but I mean, well, I don't, that's I, anywhere I, you go. I, I'd say you, you probably don't get bear calls almost every day going into the bear going no, into the trash. But I have had a bear call before. You have? Oh. <laughs> a couple times. All right. This this is like in the, I was in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, the Rocky Mountains. They get bear calls almost every day. We have black bears There's, around here now. They're not going to be roaming in the city. But yeah, down on the it, side, we do have black bears down here. Yeah, I would just sit on a picnic table and have one walk by. It's scary. Yeah, and, and I've been here, like I said, 15 years. I've had two calls on it, and it was the same bear. And what had happened was, uh, it was back when they were putting the pipeline in out in, a little bit further out in the county. Yeah. And I think they messed with its habitat, and then it kind of started roaming throughout yeah. everywhere. Yeah, they they uh, they have a place where they they live, and then they'll they'll follow a path to the wherever the food is at sometimes and maybe that's been 10 years ago i haven't seen a bear 10 years right here. and and this in this city's clearly expanding uh, oh yeah with, it's with the development a lot over the years yeah and especially yeah. down this area here yeah my my hometown i was just there la last earlier I mean, or last walmart, year. that walmart there I haven't been there but 20 okay two years 20 oh yeah it was down here it, they built one down here in 89 on the other side down here okay and where all the other buildings are, like Harbor Freight down that way. Harbor Freight's got it. Okay. That That's... all that all that building down that way used to all be Walmart, and then yep. they relocated in two thousand one to here. Okay. Yeah. That's. And Walt Massey relocated from down there to here, across the road. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like I said, all this has been all this little area right here has all been built up in the last 22, 23 years. Yeah. Th things are are. Th uh, Except for the college, just been here. There's a college? Okay. Yeah, right across the I, road from Walmart right there is a, is a didn't, college. All right, I didn't even notice that. All right. I haven't been paying attention to... Well, you see this lot right here? Where it says Kato's and all that right there? Okay. Ceasefire. You might not Cease. walk up this way, you can see it. Okay. Right there at the red light. See where all those... All oh, those red lights, okay. Right oh, yeah, yeah. I see the, Kato. There's a road in between, but right across there is... That's all college over that way. Co okay. Co college. All right. It's a... I mean, it's a junior college. Huh? It's not no. It's not oh, no big, yeah, you know, say, like yeah. Mississippi State or colleges, you know, Ole Miss or something like that. No. College, colleges have a tendency to attract crime. It's it's a junior college. Though. But uh, it's yeah, the, if it's a smaller uh, subdivision, Gulf Coast Community College, they got one in Gautier too. Yeah, the southern southern they got Mississippi. One in Perth, which is over in what, okay. Stone County? Is that Stone County or Perry County? Yeah. I, 
yeah, this, this small little group of them. You know. Yeah, that's okay. But the, the, this, yeah, this this community, I mean, the things things look in good shape. I haven't noticed any homeless activity. Uh, there, I mean, if the, you if you look hard enough, there's, there's probably a dozen that ride around on bikes and yeah, walking that's, things. Yeah, that's what but, I see usually when I see homeless activity there. But no, it's, there's this is not definitely. It, it's, you saying you roamed all over the place. You've been in a lot of big cities. No, it's nothing like I, that. Yeah, and I prefer. I, I have to admit, I prefer size uh, cities like this size. Usually, uh, the middle, the middle sizes, uh, the big cities are just too much for me. Uh, this it, is where I grew up. This is why I wanted to uh, be a police officer in my it, hometown. Yeah, and the the activity you, you don't get in, you don't get uh, caught up in in cr the the craziness of. In the big cities, people live more extreme. They're they're just louder. They're 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 more just. They're, but even though this is a small town, we still have activity. I mean, we we've had, we have murders. We have oh, uh, um, I mean, yeah. I've been shot at before. So I mean, I mean. Oh happens. yeah. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's that's scary. Yeah, and there's there's a. I have a in, lot of domestics around here and stuff too. Oh, those. Yep. And and I don't have a problem with domestics. Of uh, just keeping my distance. That's. Yeah. I try to mind my own business, keep my distance. Those domestics will get people caught up in a lot of problems. Yeah, you have to so, think about it when you're dealing with a domestic. If they're doing whatever they're doing to somebody they supposedly love, what would they do to you? Yep, yep. It's it's. Uh, then they try to put on their best face when the cops show up. Like, hey, there's no problem. <laughs> well, there's always a the thing in law enforcement we say is there's your story, there's their story, and then there's the truth in the middle. Yeah, and and. And documenting that properly is is one of the the better paths to take to keep things honest. You have to hear they, both sides of the story, and then you make it, your best judgment based off the oh, evidence oh, that's in yeah. front of you that's, on what really happened. And that's for the judge to decide. They got the they they, they look into the intricacies of of the relationship. And I mean, people's but, not going to say. I mean, they're not going to tell me what they did bad because they don't want to get in trouble. Now, I mean, yep. they may make to a certain extent. They're yeah. not going to tell it. They're going to make themselves look good. Just the same as the yep. other person's gonna make themselves look good in the store. Yeah, like I'm trying to make myself look, look as good as possible talking to you because I don't, I don't want any f further problems in no, town. Like I, I just wanted you I, to move off the roadway so that way uh, you should be yeah. fine over here and have no more issues, nothing like that. Yep, I'm, I'm making the uh, whatever that that step that uh, that I don't know positive step or whatever just to show that I'm I'm, I'm trying to ease their concerns because I'll I'm looking at another like uh, another night. It just yeah. and so they're going to be back. Like I said, me and her will be back on tomorrow night, and uh, okay. my day shift will be on today too. And we'll pass okay. it on them when we go to leave. Yeah, uh, um, and yeah, the activity here. And like I said, I'm going to document it in our logbook, our dispatch logbook that we spoke to you. Actually, okay. move the car over here, and you move the car off the off the roadway. So everything's good that way. Yeah, yeah. and and okay, yeah, that's. I mean, there's nothing else to it. There's 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 not much that. Uh, needs to go in into the, this type of stop there's uh, i mean i agree i mean i'm, I'm that's why i'm saying um, i'm I mean, not we're just trying to make the i mean honestly it, it's nice to have activity you talked about earlier about not wanting to be bothered it's just the opposite we won't cause because we yeah, want to yeah. stay busy makes the night okay. go by quicker well you could give me a really hard time then and <laughs> and then i have it on video and then uh, uh we video it too. I, I post i could post it on youtube that you guys you give me a hard time and then people get you know people watch this and and they get angry at at some of the uh rights violations that occur yeah. on video and then you could get a lot of activity on on uh at your dispatch and well, on the phone when it comes down to stuff like that i try to have good interactions with people because yeah. i want a positive outlook on law enforcement yeah. and not a negative yeah. even in not even on night shift because I, I think a lot of night shift but uh people the cops will will let themselves go they, they think almost anything goes at night it seems with I mean, their at times wait. we do deal with harsher calls because okay. a lot of people are at, are at home during, and you have domestics Okay. And then a lot of people like to drink at night and things of that nature to yep. deal with alcohol. It's a different thing. Yeah. But I mean, it's, ultimately, it, it's the person. I mean, you're gonna. It's a person. Regardless, yeah. you're gonna have bad apples in any profession yep. there is. Yep. But the the goal is to try to try your to do your best to make your profession look good. Yeah. You, uh, on your own, you can't control what other people do. You just do what you you can do. And, and yeah, I've I've uh, I've had I've gotten arrested um a situation similar to this 
it, um, it, it's a lot of times over my ID. Um, I'm, I want, you know, I'm willing to exchange IDs. I'm willing to exchange uh, information. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm glad you gave me the opportunity to to, to explain myself. Oh, yeah. the, well, I mean, the last I'm not just going. I'm not going to come up to you and approach you in a negative way. No, yeah. I mean, a lot of interaction depends on both parties. I mean, if you yeah. start raising the level, then I'm going to raise the level. You know, and then yeah, it gets out of hand. It's not necessary for something like that. Yeah, there's yeah the, the threat level can yeah. increase or decrease. It's 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 fluid. But you've been it's, you've been fine with us, and I, I yeah. want to think that we've been fine with you. Yeah, and I'm not I'm not trying to stand my ground on the side of the road, so <laughs> I do my best to you know with what I have for the situation. Um, but uh, yeah, some I've I've gotten arrested over similar kind of similar things. A sus, I'm a suspicious car, suspicious person, and it just depends on who the officer is and. Um, how they're how they're feeling. I, I most a lot of times it's night patrol. That's I've had the the I think the most um, uh, negative interactions with, and so I've I've developed that you know the attitude that you know you guys when it's at night like the last cop interaction I had was just near pa Pesca, Pascula, just it, it just cop just kind of he saw me in the a Hobby Lobby parking lot and he he pulled up shined his light inside. And and then he just uh, he pulled up to the side and said, "Hey, are you okay? Are you sleeping in there?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm fine." And then he says, "You can't, you know that you can't sleep here at night. You, and you just you're only resting. Uh, you can't be sleeping." And then he took off. I thought he was going to push the issue, but uh, he didn't. And I actually was recording. I tell you, as soon as I have police pull up, I'm I'm the, my cameras are on. I, mean, I, I, I know it was a GoPro, I, but I mean, that don't, that don't yeah. matter to me. And this, this is a 360. It might be dead now, but it's a 360, so I get... But, I mean, I, I, this is always recorded on my side, so, I mean, yeah, me being recorded doesn't bother me one bit. Yeah, yeah, and I don't see the light flashing, so I don't, I'm assuming that it, it doesn't it's work. Kind of oh, it, it is working. You hear it beeping every now and then? That, that's oh, I, recording. I didn't hear, okay. I thought it wasn't, okay. No, it's so, recording. Okay, okay. I, I record I, all my interactions. Most, a lot of them have the light where you could see it, so you, but you can see it. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's I, blinking, all right. and it, you can turn it I, off, but I like to have mine on, because I want yeah. people to know that I'm recording. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's good to document situations. They're they, they're fluid in a lot of ways, and yeah, I, um, that's I, I'd like. Thing here is to protect me because I don't want nobody coming back and lying on me and saying that yep. I said something or did something yeah. that I wasn't supposed to be doing. And and you can you can mute it. Well, a lot of times this is Mississippi. I mean, uh, the police apparently uh, can get away with saying a lot of uh, uh, things that might be against the law. That they're enforcing. Um, there almost seems their own rules in a lot of ways. They say, uh, you know, the Constitution doesn't matter to them they, on well, camera. those type of people don't it's, need to be in law enforcement. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know how the... Well, I like to think uh, through this interaction here that you think we're at least educated enough to know what the law is and what the law is not, and all we did was ask you to do something which was... Yeah, to ask you to do. and you're more, you're more guarded, and I appreciate that. Uh, maybe it's yeah through training in some way you're just you're acting more guarded with uh pushing pushing issues about i don't know just um i just I understand it, do i have drug do well, i have drugs on me or uh, you know just, you gave me no you, indication that you, you're under the influence yeah i'm, I'm and perfect or i haven't seen anything so i'm not going to ask you if you want drugs just, but just yeah. to ask you that and, question yeah it's it's kind of a rare thing I, i've had one cop uh take his dog around the outside of my car i was i was parked behind a library and this is Weezer, Idaho, and uh, yeah, they just a bit. Um, yeah, there's there's been all kinds of interactions with police. You, you guys are unique from others. You'll you're and, and I'll say the longest conversation I had with a cop was an hour and a half, and it killed pretty much killed my battery. Um, he, he was looking for a Donna. She she was some lost uh, woman in in the Walmart in a Walmart parking lot. This is in Illinois, and uh, yeah, just we just we were talking. We just she. He just 4 a.m. Like I don't know what time. It's like 4 a.m. now, I think. And it's just, almost six. Six. Okay, yeah, Walmart. Six. All right. I ain't realized that late. Yeah. It, so we might have been talking to you for an hour. Yeah, it's it's a it's a battery killer for me. My batteries only last like an hour and 15 minutes. So you're challenging my my battery life with with this. I try to record as long as I can. People will watch. I. I have this daily roamer channel. I also have a cop channel, 
Like, I Mississippi's a one consent state, so I, you don't one, have to okay. have my permission. And I don't have to have your permission. Yeah, Miss, Mississippi is is uh, is unique. With uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of other states where it's two party consent. Yep. But uh, yeah, with recording, yeah, there's um, I, I I'm not. Sample. That's our dispatch. So yeah, to check you have on a good you. night. And, so, okay, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I hope to have no other troubles. Like I said, I'm gonna pass on day so. shift that you're down here, so they'll be aware that you're down here. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Have a good morning. Yep. Two. Thank you. 